if p is a odd prime then 2 upon p is equal to 1 if p is congruent to 1 or p is congruent to 7 modulo 8 uh, minus 1 if p is congruent to 3 modulo 8 and or p is congruent to 5 modulo 8 proof by Gauss's lemma 2 upon p is equal to minus 1 raised to power n where n is a number of integers in set s equals to 2 into 1 and 2 into 2 and so on 2 into p minus 1 upon 2 having negative list residue modulo p clearly these are the even integers that lie in the interval p plus 1 upon 2 and p minus 1 further p being an odd prime and p must be either of the form 8k plus 1 or 8k plus 3, 8k plus 5 or 8k plus 7 by direct calculations if p equals to 8k plus 1 then n equal to 4k minus 2k equals to 2k if p equals to 8k plus 3 then n equals to 4k minus 2k minus 1 equals to 2k plus 1 if p equals to 8k plus 5 then n equals to 2k plus 2 minus into minus 2k plus 1 equals to 2k plus 1 and if p equals to 8k plus 7 then n equals to 4k plus 3 minus 2k plus 1 equals to 2k plus 2 hence 2 upon p equals to 1 if p is equals to plus minus 1 modulo 8 and if minus 1 if p equals to plus minus 3 modulo 8 now minus 1 raised to power p square minus 1 upon 8 equals to minus 1 raised to power 64 k square plus 16 k plus 1 minus 1 upon 8 if uh, p equals to 8 k plus 1 minus 1 raised to power 64 k square plus 48 plus 9 minus 1 upon 8 if p equals to 8k plus 3 minus 1 raised to power 64k plus 80k plus 25 minus 1 upon 8 if p equals to 8k plus 5 minus 1 raised to power 64k square plus 112 plus 49 minus 1 upon 8 if p is equal to 8k plus 7 equals 2 plus 1 if p is congruent to 1 modulo 8 equals to minus 1 if p is congruent to 3 modulo 8 equals to minus 1 if p equals to congruent to p is congruent to 5 modulo 8 and equals to plus 1 if p is congruent to 7 modulo 8 so equals to 1 if p equals to plus minus 1 modulo 8 uh, equals to minus 1 if p is equals to plus minus 3 modulo 8.